Wednesday, 1st of February. Welcome to another month where we're going to be at least at 80 degrees. This is like a years long streak where we have at least one day every month at least at 80 degrees and record challenging high temps today and again on Thursday before a big change comes for the weekend. Chief Meteorologist Mike Burr is still tracking the implications of a local nor'easter that will set up over the weekend that'll uh, bring in blustery conditions. Uh, a little bit more uh, shower activity at the beach. There's not a whole lot of rain necessarily, but that may help to wipe away some of the pine pollen that is just boom, exploding right now. For allergy sufferers, this is the tough time of the year. Five day forecast updated throughout Jacksonville's morning news. We're staying on top of any potential fog delays as well. We have some airport delays and cancellations out of Jacksonville International Airport, perhaps due greatly to the ice storm that's impacted parts of Dallas and the uh, Metroplex there in Texas. But we've also seen some uh, flight cancellations and delays out of the Northeast uh, part of the United States. Several storylines we're gonna follow for you through the day today. Final pretrial is scheduled for this afternoon for Aiden Fucci, the teenager in St. John's County accused of brutally killing a classmate. His trial is set for next Monday in St. John's County. The Old Morocco Shrine Auditorium on St. John's Bluff in the Town Center area is set to be demolished today after being here for a generation. So many memories that will eventually be replaced by luxury townhomes and apartments and uh, student housing for FSCJ and UNF. And then the big story that we'll follow for you through the day today will be the implications and impact of Governor DeSantis's plans for reforming the university system in Florida. The latest announcement having to do with critical race theory, diversity, equity, and inclusion. More on these and other stories at WOKV.com and throughout Jacksonville's Morning News.